Um, I, I suppose so. Uh, uh, Sinatra kind of came out with that, that album, the Saloon album. He kind of had that kind of same thing, but for rock and roll, uh, probably one of, one of the first ones. Although I think of the, the, the first uh, Pet Sounds, uh, that sonic sound to me, uh, I, I remember going to Columbia Studios and hearing uh, the start of the song. I went, wow. And it was uh, uh, California Girls. The very opening part of that song before the... That, that's actually, if you listen to it, that's Pet Sounds. That's the start of Pet Sounds, I think. Well, as, as uh, Brian said, uh, that album was, was marijuana. <laughs> So that's the that's going through it. There's that just this deep, restful, sonic, echoey marijuana <laughs> sound. Because it was it was so not what people uh, uh, expected. It, the, a lot of his fans at the uh, at the time. Uh, uh, didn't want that. They wanted the Beach Boys, and all all of the quote hip critics hadn't caught up to it yet, so it fell through the cracks uh, until uh, actually I would say one of my heroes, Derek Taylor, uh, who was my publicist in '65, also um, I think he really helped it uh, in England. Because I think it's uh, it's uh, way more exotic, I think, in England to think about, you know, America, the West Coast, uh, that whole strange. Uh, it's just a, a very different. It's a very different thing at all. You just don't have that uh, uh, in England. You know, you don't have the warm weather waves. What that represented at the time, uh, and. Uh, and I, th I think it's like having a brother in the family or something. You, you're, you're so used to it here. Uh, Why well, it didn't do well? It, it, you just take it for granted. Uh, you know, uh, you're hearing uh, you know, he's from Hawthorne. That's that's <laughs> that's like a, a writer and a, uh, you know an Indian and all of this. And here we're going Hawthorne. That's that's like <laughs> that's down in the funky part of the the beach. <laughs> You know, a lot of aircraft plants are down there. So I think there was a different perception. Um, he didn't dwell on it uh, because it was, was really about the music for him. Uh, I, I, I mean, I well, just knew it was genius when I, I mean, you heard it. It's like he was just so above... I mean, he, he'd have, you know, I was there, it, Leonard Bernstein would be, you know, he's sitting in a sandbox <laughs> in the living room and Leonard Bernstein is there and, you know, he, he knew it was, it was happening. And uh, he had Derek, Derek really, re, Derek Taylor, really, the publicist really uh, helped him out on that level. 